Coming up, the family of a slain Clearwater man are rallying today in Tallahassee. What they want changes made to Florida's Stand Your Ground law. Plus, school now less than a week away. What Manatee County is doing to fight back against threats on social media. And what Moat Marine Lab is doing to try to help identify red tide issues. Your Suncoast News starts now. You're watching ABC 7 News at noon. Well, and welcome. I'm Scott Dennis. Thanks so much for joining us. Topping our news this hour, a push to repeal Florida's controversial Stand Your Ground law happening today in Tallahassee. Pastors and faith leaders from across the state organized a protest at the state capitol because they say the Stand Your Ground law has a negative impact on poor and minority communities. The debate over that law returned to the national spotlight last month after Marquise McLaughlin was fatally shot in a convenience store parking lot in Clearwater. The McLaughlin family, members of the National Action Network, and several politicians are taking to the streets to call for lawmakers to review that law, hoping potentially to see changes make it to the November ballot. We'll have more on the rally in our evening newscast beginning at 4 o'clock this afternoon. An update now out of Tampa, where the mother accused of drowning her four-year-old daughter in the Hillsborough River made an appearance in court this morning. Prosecutors are hoping Shakela Denson will have to stay behind bars before her case goes to trial after originally being denied bond, calling her a threat to the community. Denson is charged with first-degree murder and aggravated child abuse after her four-year-old's body was found. No trial date has been set. The first day of school just five days away now, and Manatee County officials plan to crack down more than ever this school year on social media threats. ABC 7's Marla Spence gives us a closer look at that effort. This is the code of conduct for Manatee County Schools and inside the district makes it very clear that they'll have zero tolerance when it comes to student threats towards campuses. School district officials say fake or not students who threaten to use weapons on campus will be suspended for up to 10 days and considered for expulsion, whether the threat is sent out on social media in writing or in person. There's no such thing as a bad joke and this is taken very seriously by the school district by law enforcement and there would be there will be a severe consequence. Even worse, a student can get charged with a second degree felony and face up to 15 years in prison and a $10,000 fine. We talked to several Manatee County parents earlier this year after the Parkland shooting who said they were withdrawing their kids and putting them in home or virtual school due to recent threats. Officials say that move did not impact this year's enrollment numbers. In fact, the district will grow by 4,000 students by next fall with the opening of three new schools in 2019. I'm Marla Spence reporting in Manatee County for ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Marla, thank you. Remember, if you see or hear something that could be considered a threat, report it immediately to law enforcement. Moat Marine Lab is finding new ways to monitor red tide using your cell phone. Researchers launching an app that allows you to mark areas where you're experiencing the effects of red tide. The new app is called Citizen Science Information Collaboration, or CSIC. It lets beachgoers mark the spot where they see dead fish or maybe having respiratory irritation. It's a way to help fill the gaps between the information that scientists collect and our beach conditions reporting system. Researchers have also partnered with NOAA to train citizen scientists to use cell phone microscopes to upload 30-second videos on the app, which will then calculate the concentration of red tide in the water. Florida Fish and Wildlife is trying to speed up the process of removing dead fish from area beaches. They're waiving cleanup rules in seven counties, including Sarasota, Manatee, and Charlotte. Now people can remove fish from the area with no limitations. The saltwater fishing license is also not required. The red tide debris picked up from Sarasota County will be dumped in the landfill in Nokomis, and the dead fish from Manatee County beaches will be taken to Manatee County Landfill on Lena Road, east of the interstate. And you can find the dozens of stories we've covered on this current red tide outbreak on our website, mysuncoast.com slash red tide. New at noon, the city of Sarasota has decided to cut its losses with a downtown shuttle service. The city spent nearly $340,000 to bring the South Carolina-based iRide service to the area. ABC 7's Ray Collins joins us now with taxpayer reaction. Ray? Scott, the city thought the service would make more money by selling advertising space on the electric cars, but it has not been enough. For the past year or so, I ride drivers pick up these carts in the Palm Avenue garage and drive around the downtown core. 
initially getting just tips. The city says it doesn't plan to financially support the service when the contract expires next month. One taxpayer we talked to says she was disappointed the city spent this much in the first place, especially on a firm based outside the area, while there are several local companies that already operate successfully in Sarasota County. I, I don't understand how they have to spend $300,000 of our tax money for the I rights, and they're not making any money out of it. But on CSQ, they have three private companies that are not using our tax money, but they're making money out of it as well. So that doesn't really make that much sense to me. Now, there is a chance the company may try to continue here once the government funding ends. We'll find out next year. This morning, City Commissioner Hagen Brody told me if he had been in office when this was approved, he would not have supported this costly experiment. Scott, back to you. All right, Ray, thank you. Let's get a check on our weather now with meteorologist Josh Stone, who's in for John today. How's it looking so far? It's looking pretty good. Yeah. We were outside earlier today. Oh, yeah. Sunshine. Mm -hmm. It's getting warmer right now. Our temperature is at 88 degrees. We have mostly sunny skies. This will change a little bit as we go through the next few hours. Humidity at 63%. Actually feeling pretty nice out there. But uh, the radar is quiet as we speak. But just like yesterday with the heating of the day, we'll get some showers that pop up on the radar later this afternoon and early this evening. Some of these showers could produce some lightning and that is a thunderstorm. So could see some gusty winds, lightning strikes and localized heavy rainfall starting inland then uh, potentially moving towards the coast. As you can see, it's going to be another warm one today and the feel like temperature will be about 100 degrees. Scott. Hi, Josh. Thank you. New details today on those primary races just too close to call overnight. In Ohio's 12th congressional district race, the Republican incumbent is virtually tied, even with a presidential endorsement. ABC's Emily Rao has the latest on that race and another close contest. The race is still too close to call, but Republican Troy Balderson is claiming victory. Very honored for the opportunity to represent the voters of the 12th Congressional District. It should have been an easy win in a solidly Republican area. President Trump won Ohio's 12th by double digits in 2016, but with tightening polls, the president was forced to come to the suburban Columbus District to campaign for Balderson. I'd like to thank President Trump. The president tweeting today, after my speech on Saturday night, there was a big turn for the better. Now Troy wins a great victory during a very tough time of the year for voting. But Democrat Danny O'Connor is what, not conceding. What, can you believe how close this is? We, we are in a tie ball game, and you made this possible. Balderson and O'Connor are fighting to fill the remaining months of the current representative's term and will be on the ballot again in November. And in another race with a late presidential endorsement, Chris Kobach has a narrow lead over incumbent Jeff Collier in the Kansas governor's primary. Many Republicans fear Kobach's controversial candidacy makes a GOP win harder in November. Kansas legislator Laura Kelly won the Democratic primary. In Ohio, there are still more than 8,000 uncounted votes between provisional and absentee ballots. That could be enough for O'Connor to tip the scale and force a recount, but we won't know for at least 10 days. Emily Rao, ABC News, New York. And for more on latest breaking news, as well as your first alert weather forecast, we invite you to download our app and find it in your app store, WWSB or my Suncoast. Still to come in your Suncoast news, how CVS is hoping to save you time by skipping your next doctor's visit. And later, imagine your pooch getting repossessed. How pet lovers got a nasty surprise realizing they were only leasing their dog. Tomorrow at 9 on Suncoast View. Back to school week continues. I'm Stephanie Roberts on Suncoast View. A teacher helps us and our kids understand that all students' brains do not work the same and how we can all be more understanding. Plus a lesson on the Perseid meteor shower with South Florida Museum. And wait till you meet the newest and youngest star in West Coast Black Theater stage. This 10-year-old can really sing. Plus Chef Paul Madison in the kitchen. Tomorrow at 9 on Suncoast View. Picking out a new ceiling fan? That's a do-it-yourself. Installing your new ceiling fan? No. That's a don't do-it-yourself. For ceiling fans, rewires, or anything electrical, play it safe. And call on the trained electricians from your locally owned Mr. Sparky.
It's no accident that so many of our customers are repeat customers. You. You Trust Mr. Sparky for all your electrical repairs. Sparky. The Player Center invites you to explore the family dynamic in the classic story of On Golden Pond. The Tony Award winning play opening August 9th is funny, thoughtful, and brutally honest. Call the players at 365 2494 or visit us online at theplayers.org. On Golden Pond is calling you. Another pair of satisfied emotions. Looks to me like elation and maybe some amazement. It's part of the Honda Summer Spectacular Event Experience. You could say satisfaction comes standard here, just like the Honda Accord comes standard with a luxurious roomy interior. <laughs> all at the Honda Summer Spectacular Event. We see it all the time. Visit your local Honda dealer and test drive the Honda Accord, 2018's North American Car of the Year. We've been fighting the war on drugs for a long time. We answer the phone 24-7, 365 days a year. On a busy night, we answer hundreds of calls. This war on drugs needs our intervention. Since 2014, Addiction Hope and Helpline has helped people struggling with drugs and alcohol. When the phone rings, we help people when they need it the most. When we get a caller into treatment, it feels right. It feels good. It's a blessing. If you're struggling, drinking, using, and need to get clean, don't suffer alone in silence. Call Addiction Hope and Helpline. Our people understand, and many are also in recovery. Call for support and strength. You can call for someone who can't or isn't willing. It's an act of love. Together we can help you beat this thing and erase addiction from your vocabulary once and for all. Call 800-871-1644. 800-871-1644. Nice to see you on this Wednesday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone in for John Scalzi today. A few scattered showers out here in the Gulf of Mexico, but along the Sun Coast looks pretty quiet at this time. But this radar will start to get going a little bit later on this afternoon. It's warm out temperatures in the upper 80s around the Sun Coast, but it feels like the mid 90s and we could actually feel like 100 degrees by mid afternoon with the heat index uh, climbing up there. We have dry air kind of hanging on. It was more prevalent over the last few days when the area of high pressure was to the north and east of Florida. It has slipped further to the south and now we're going to have more of a southeasterly wind around it. And then by this weekend, we'll have more of a southwesterly wind around it. And that means that instead of the showers and storms firing up inland and tracking towards the coast, we're going to have showers and storms uh, maybe a little bit in the morning. And then with the heating of the day, we'll have those storms fire inland, maybe around east of I-75 and then track eastward. That's with that westerly wind. But for today, southeasterly wind will still get in offshore flow. You can see this on the future cast. Shower activity starts to uh, and storms start to develop here inland and then things start to dissipate as we get into the evening hours. Speaking of storms, let's talk about the tropics. A little activity out here in the northern Atlantic, well north in the northern Atlantic. Talking about this flare up, it was a subtropical storm yesterday, meaning just under tropical characteristics. And then this morning, the National Hurricane Center upgraded Debbie to a tropical storm. Right now, it's sustained winds of 45 miles per hour, but as you can see, it's tracking to the north and to the northeast and away from land. Now, Shifting gears, and this is just out of interest for us, but uh, not going to affect the Sun Coast, but we have a Category 1 hurricane, Hurricane John, off the coast of western Mexico, and a tropical storm, Christy. But the big story is what's happening further west, and that is Hurricane Hector. It is a Category uh, 3 storm, and uh, it's looking to track to the south of Hawaii, but bringing big surf, and the surfers are loving this, but uh, could bring some gusty winds there and some heavy rainfall for them. 91 will be our high today. Our average is 90, so one degree above that, right where we should be. A few clouds developing throughout the afternoon and isolated to scattered showers and storms. 
Now, as we get into our Thursday and Friday, the rain chance lessens. That's our transition day. And then Saturday, Sunday, and into early next week, we'll have more of that southwest westerly wind where the storms, the bigger storms at least, develop inland and then they blow eastward. But remember, Monday is back to school day. So if you're going to the bus stop, there may be a few sprinkles in the morning. And then by the time you go home, depending on which direction you go home, could be uh, either west or east. But if you go east, you could run into some of those bigger storms. Back to you, Scott. All right, Josh, thank you. And HealthSmart, if you plan on getting your wisdom teeth removed anytime soon, ABC's Linda Lopez suggests has results of a new study that you should consider before going in for that procedure. A new study from the University of Michigan has some troubling numbers for anyone considering painful wisdom tooth surgery. The study showing young people between the ages of 13 and 30 who filled prescriptions for opioids after the teeth came out are nearly 2.7 times more likely to fill more opioid prescriptions after that. Wisdom tooth extractions are performed 3.5 million times in the U.S. every year. And yes, pain management after an invasive procedure is important. But taking opioid painkillers after wisdom teeth may lead to a different kind of pain, addiction. Researchers looked at the insurance data from 60,000 patients between 2009 and 2015 who filled their opioid prescription after wisdom teeth removal. Those who filled their initial prescriptions had higher odds of persistent opioid use. Experts hope that oral surgeons pay attention and limit opioid prescriptions after wisdom tooth extractions. In the meantime, the wisdom may be looking for another way to manage post-op dental pain. With this Medical Minute, I'm Linda Lopez, ABC News. Here in the Sun Coast, Sarasota-based AltMed Enterprises is opening a new medical cannabis dispensary this Friday on Fruitville Road. The site is the second of 25 planned AltMed dispensaries throughout the state. Products will include topicals, patches, vape pens, oral sprays, and concentrates, all created close to the Sun Coast. All of our products are uh, cultivated initially in Apollo Beach. Uh, there we have a 150,000 square foot state-of-the-art indoor cultivation facility, in-house laboratory, and manufacturing suite, and everything comes from the Apollo Beach uh, location. The store will also offer guidance from staff and private consultation areas. And remember, medical cannabis can only be bought in Florida with a doctor's prescription. We might be getting closer to not having to wait at a doctor's office anymore. CVS is launching a new digital doctor service for customers. The service will be added to their smartphone app and let people get a diagnosis on things like the flu or skin issues from the comfort of their own home. CVS will plans to roll this out nationwide later this year. All right, time for lunch. Let's head over to the kitchen now and say hello to ABC7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. Hi, Judy. What's for lunch today? Well, hi, Scott. Today we're having rack of lamb, and I picked two, two different rack of lambs. Each were about $21, and you think about it, a six bone is going to feed two people. So it really does, it, it does make it affordable, and I am marrying some of my favorite cherry tomatoes. For a while, we didn't see so many cherry tomatoes. We just saw grape tomatoes. Well, they are now cultivating these unbelievable organic cherry tomatoes, and I'm using them in a lot of ingredients. So I took out an old Jamie Oliver recipe that I am so fond of, where he takes fingerling potatoes, parboils them, then smashes them in the pan after the lamb has been seared. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to season the lamb and get the pan ready. So when you come back, we can start searing it off, and then I'll show you some great flavors that we're going to add, and the vegetables, and roast that in the oven. So stay with me. We're coming back with a delicious lunch. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through True Stage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. And you cannot be turned down for any reason. Even if you have health problems or are living on a fixed income, Guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance policies could work for you with prices starting at less than 32 cents a day. That's as low as $9.40 a month. True Stage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. My mom didn't have life insurance and the cost all fell on me. And that's expensive. We're, we're still paying for yeah, that. Yeah, we're still paying for that. 
call 1-800-218-4991. Now, in one phone call, you can help prepare your family with protection amounts up to $25,000. There are no medical tests or health questions. And remember, you cannot be turned down for any reason. In fact, True Stage policies are already protecting over 18 million Americans. And rates are designed to be affordable, starting at less than 32 cents a day. That's as low as 940 a month. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. When I leave, everything will be taken care of for them. Call 1-800-218-4991. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget with prices starting at less than 32 cents a day. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1-800-218-4991 now. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system could make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> Now, SoClean.com has released the world's first automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer, risk-free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. The SoClean works, and it's a really effective product, and I couldn't believe how easy it was to use. SoClean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks, destroying CPAP germs and bacteria without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and walk away. Voila! Sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. New at noon, important information all current and would-be pet owners need to hear. A New York family is finding out the hard way they don't actually own their dog, but instead are leasing it. ABC's Ava Pilgrim has a closer look at why it could now be repossessed. How much is that doggy in the window now depends on how you're paying for it. And even then, you may not actually own the dog. They have their money. So there's no reason to take my dog. Purebred or designer pets are fetching thousands of dollars. So some pet stores and breeders are offering a new option in states like New York that allow it. Take your furry friend home right away, even if you don't have all the cash up front with a lease, like a car. You're so sweet. Yeah, you are. And that's what Danielle Citadino did when she got her Golden Retriever Max at a Long Island pet store. This is the document she signed, which states the terms of the lease. Although she acknowledges the store owner discussed it with her, she says she didn't read it closely at the time. The Federal Trade Commission issuing a warning last month spelling out what is required of sellers using lease agreements for pets. Several states have already banned pet leasing. In New York, where Danielle lives, the New York State Legislature passed a ban to end puppy leasing. The bill now heads to Governor Cuomo, who would need to sign it to make it law. Instead of paying what she says was $1,200 up front for Max, she says she paid $145.19 a month on time for two years. But now she is balking at paying the lender a final payment of $338.07 and is faced with losing Max. If she doesn't pay, her dog would have to be returned at the end of the lease, just like a car. Max is our family. I don't want him going anywhere. That's Ava Pilgrim reporting. Now, the pet store, Shake a Paw, now says they plan to make that final payment to the leasing company so Danielle can keep her dog. But they're cautioning other future owners to take a second look at their payment contracts before signing on the dotted line. All right, back to the kitchen now. Check in again with Culinary Director Judy Gallagher. Judy? Okay, Scott. So I've seasoned the rack of lamb with garlic salt mixture and a little basil rosemary salt. I also put a little olive oil in the pan and what I do is I drop the rosemary right in there. So that burnt rosemary, we're gonna discard. We're gonna remove the lamb from the pan and now comes the fun part. Now the lamb is not gonna be cooked all the way through because we're gonna finish it off in the oven. So next, you're just gonna smash those fingerling potatoes 
and crush them in your hand a little bit. Great Jamie Oliver trick. I used to just use fingerling or red potatoes roasted, and this really adds a lot of flavor, and you're gonna see why in just a couple minutes. So we'll let that start to brown just a little bit, and then we're gonna wanna add a little more seasoning, so a little garlic salt in there. And a lot of the flavor is gonna roast down from the lamb, so you already have that seasoned. I wanna show you the top part is already browned off. So when I put this on the pan in the oven, we're gonna put it opposite way. When it completely comes out, you're gonna see that you have that beautiful rack of lamb. You roast that for about, oh, about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. You wanna keep it a medium rare. Okay, the potatoes are just starting to get a little crisp on the outside, which is perfect. So now we're gonna bring our game up a little bit. You know how I always say shop your refrigerator? I had a half a head of cauliflower and I love roasted cauliflower. So this is just gonna be a great addition. And then I had a zucchini, so I'm just gonna cut the zucchini in long sticks here. And then I'm gonna put in some rosemary and thyme. And I'm gonna take about eight cloves of garlic still with the skin on, and I wanna get all that extra flavor that's right there, okay? So, what we're gonna do now, add those beautiful cherry tomatoes and some olives, and then this is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes. When we come back, I can show you how to plate and serve. It's smelling really awesome in this kitchen today. Ready to open up new opportunities as an electrician? Don't do it yourself. Team up with Mr. Sparky instead. We're locally owned and looking for people like you. We offer our electricians great perks that you just won't get going it alone. And whether you're an apprentice, a master electrician, or somewhere in between, we have a spot for you. Best decision I ever made. Apply online or call today. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888 sparky Planning a carnival fantasy cruise out of Mobile? Then check out the park and cruise packages at the luxurious Battle House and Renaissance Riverview Plaza hotels. Stay at the Battle House for $169 per night or the Riverview Plaza for just $149 per night and leave your car for the duration of your cruise. Includes transportation to and from the cruise terminal. If you're cruising out of Mobile, come stay with us. Call 1-800-MARRIOTT or visit Marriott.com now. If you think it's hot outside, just wait until you see even hotter savings inside. Only at Rugs as Art Hot Summer Savings Sale Event will you find the lowest prices on a vast selection of stunning rugs, furniture accents, and accessories. This special event only happens once a year, so hurry in before the best selections are gone. The Hot Summer Savings Event ends soon, so don't miss out on the best prices ever. Rugs as Art, Sarasota's only area rug superstore. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases, a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. All right, crew, cool. let's get started. All right. Don't ignore the law. You must call 811 at least two to three days before any digging project so you can avoid hitting our essential buried utilities. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811. Coming up, a star witness in the Paul Manafort financial fraud trial wraps up testimony. 
plus firefighters struggled to contain several wildfires in California, including the largest in state history. And the changes students will see next week at Sarasota High School to make the campus safer. You're watching ABC 7 News at 1230. Welcome back. Our top story at 1230. Now to day seven in the trial of President Trump's former campaign chairman, Paul Manafort. The prosecution star witness, Rick Gates, back on the stand for a third day and another round of questioning. ABC's Arlette Signs is in Washington with the latest in the case. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort's legal team heading into court to further cross-examine Rick Gates. Morning, gentlemen. Gates has testified he helped his former boss hide millions of dollars from the IRS in more than a dozen offshore accounts. He also alleges that months after Manafort left the Trump campaign, he reached out to Gates, who stayed on as the campaign's deputy chair, asking for an administration job for Stephen Kalk, the CEO of a bank that allegedly loaned Manafort millions based on false information. Gates has pleaded guilty to conspiracy and lying to the feds. Manafort's defense team is trying to portray Gates as an unreliable witness, a man willing to say anything for a more lenient sentence. The defense asked, after all the lies you've told, do you expect this jury to believe you? Gates responded, I do. He added, I'm here to tell the truth. I'm here to take responsibility. Manafort's team also questioned Gates about his secret life. Gates admitted to an extramarital affair with a mistress in London, using money embezzled from Manafort. The defense asked if there's another Rick Gates, a secret Rick Gates in London. Gates said his wife knew of the affair. Manafort is facing 18 counts of alleged financial crimes, including bank fraud and lying to the IRS. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges, which are unrelated to his work on the Trump campaign. Rick Gates is done on the witness stand. The defense has completed its cross-examination. Prosecutors have said they could rest their case as soon as this week. Arlette Signs, ABC News, Washington. New at noon, we're learning more about the next round of Chinese imports that will be hit with 25% tariffs by the Trump administration. More than 270 products will be targeted when the tariffs go into effect August 23rd, including items like motorcycles, speedometers, and antennas. In all, about $16 billion in Chinese imports will face these new tariffs. The move comes about a month after the Trump administration imposed similar tariffs on $34 billion in Chinese imports. An update now out of California where the Mendocino complex fire continues to rage on as the largest wildfire in California history, doubling its size in just the last few days. So far, it has scorched more than 300,000 acres, an area larger than all of New York City's five boroughs put together. Another major fire also burning in Northern California is the Ferguson fire. It's now in its third week. Hundreds of firefighters from across the country are expected to travel to the West Coast later this week to continue the ongoing battle to stop these flames. But as of now, there does not seem to be a clear end in sight. Take a look at this. A massive fire sparks a fire NATO in England. Fire NATOs occur after cool air enters the top of hot air, causing a swirling effect similar to how a tornado traditionally forms. Ten fire engines from three stations eventually got this blaze under control. A new study that tracks the costs of natural disasters and which states have paid the most is showing some surprising results. Whether it's a hurricane like we've seen here in Florida or wildfires that are spreading right now across the West, natural disasters have a huge impact on lives and government budgets. Move.org studied how much money each state spends on property damage from natural disasters in the past decade and hit the hardest, Texas, with $53 billion total. Rounding out the top five, Louisiana, Tennessee, Alabama, and Missouri. One of the most costly things, of course, is, is flooding. And uh, Texas certainly had that last year uh, with the hurricane that just kind of sat over Houston for several days. Right, Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. yeah, and Allison back in 2001 did basically the same thing. That yeah. was just a tropical storm. So everything is bigger in Texas, I guess, and that's not a... That's not, not something they want, yeah. right? Let's check out our current temperatures right now. It's warm. It's in the upper 80s right now, and the heat index is about 5 to 8 degrees, even hotter than that. That's what it feels like. But right now in Sarasota, 88. Bradenton, 89. 85 in Venice. A few clouds a little further south of Sarasota. Right now the radar is quiet. That'll change later on this afternoon. I think we're going to have some inland showers and storms that develop. 
but highs day about right where we should be at this time of the year and we're actually pretty much achieving it right now in the upper 80s low 90s and then uh, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a change as far as the uh, weather goes and and rain in our forecast come this weekend and we'll break that down for you when I come back. All right, Josh, thank you. Students and teachers at Sarasota High School may feel a little safer on campus this year knowing a road going straight through the campus will be shut down for a little longer than years past. ABC's Jackie Kelly gives us a closer look. Well, we'll try to show that to you a little bit later. Sorry about that. But uh, as school starts up next week, so do school zones. And law enforcement, police will be out in force as a reminder to slow down during school hours. Fines for speeding in a school zone and passing a school bus can range from $150 to $450. Allow yourself plenty of time in the morning to adjust for being late or dealing with kids that are gonna be walking everywhere, riding bicycles. So just please be mindful of the children. Other important tips to keep in mind, you have to stop for all school buses. When the side stop sign is out, those lights are flashing. Even if the bus is on the opposite side of the street, the only exception is when there's a raised median in the middle of the road. Happening today, school resource officers are the topic of discussion for Sarasota County School Board members as they meet one last time before school starts. Those resource officers were approved by the board months ago and will be officially sworn in today. If you'd like to attend the meeting and ceremony, they're scheduled for the school board chambers in the landing starting at 2 o'clock. The All Face Food Bank has a new tool to fight hunger here on the Sun Coast. It's a new truck, a refrigerated truck, to be used to be pick up and deliver fresh and frozen foods to neighbors in need throughout Sarasota and DeSoto counties. Those first deliveries begin tomorrow. And ABC7 has teamed up with All Face Food Bank and the Food Bank of Manatee County to help families in need. If you'd like to help or know someone who needs help, you can head online to mysuncoast.com slash hunger. Caught on camera, a Northport family finds a rattlesnake in their garage. Animal services were called in to remove the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Tara Klum spotted the snake on her way to work earlier this week. Crews were eventually able to remove the snake and then release it back into the wild. I think that I was in disbelief. I mean, I could feel my heart like <laughs> pounding out of my chest because I was like, oh my gosh, it's a rattlesnake. Like I could have died. I walked right by it. Like I was like this close to it. Remember, there are plenty of snakes here in the Sun Coast. So if you spot one in your home, don't kill it. Just give it room and call Animal Services or Florida Fish and Wildlife to help remove it and get it back to where it belongs. All right, back to the kitchen now. And someone who doesn't like snakes, I know that, <laughs> Judy Gallagher. Won't be cooking that for lunch today. Let's get back to the oven. Now remember, what we did was we seared that rack of lamb after seasoning it. And I should mention, I always like if you're cooking red meat, what you want to do is you want to let it sit out on the counter for a minimum of a half an hour. Rack of lamb isn't thick, so you're fine with a half an hour. But um, for roasts, I usually do an hour or so. Now look at this. We're going to... Just see where we're at right here. Oh yeah, it's gonna be perfect. What I can feel is we probably have to roast the cauliflower about, oh, I'd say five more minutes, but I can go ahead and plate. Now, if it's just the two of us, I love to just serve it on a cutting board and I can just run my French knife right down the middle and we'll each get half. I also wanna show you about the garlic. Remember we added the garlic? still with the peel on, it pops right off. So you can just warn your guests, but what happens is it doesn't burn, it doesn't get any bitter taste, which is perfect. So we have a few pieces of cauliflower that are definitely ready to come out. Zucchini doesn't take that long. And of course we have those delicious pitted Kalamata olives. So, and we have the herbs. So we're going to go ahead and put that around. And I feel like I want probably about, I can feel by pushing on the lamb that we need about five more minutes on that. So watch this trick, okay? Crank that oven up to 400, a little drizzle more on the olive oil. And we'll get that last piece right there. Let's put that back in the oven 
like I said, just to give the cauliflower time and to give the lamb enough time. You're gonna get the lamb to rare, then you're gonna let it rest, and it's gonna come out to the plate about medium rare. So the last thing that I like to do to just really bring it over the top, and I normally have a lot of pesto at home. I was in a hurry last night when I went to Whole Foods, so I bought some three herb and arugula pesto. And what I do is I just put, that is a garnish over here, and then you can just slide the potatoes and the vegetables right through it, and it's gonna taste so good. Now you can also put a little, here I have one rack done, and just give it a little spread on top because it's, it's just gonna be a nice shine. Now similar when you're eating at a great Greek restaurant, we have some lemon, so a little squeeze of lemon on the potatoes, you have the garlic and all the other flavors, just brings it to that next level. After I give it a squeeze, what I do is I save these lemons because they can go in a marinade. There's still a little juice left to them or they can go on the grill. That's going to be perfect. But once we get that second rack of lamb out, all I have to do is cut it in half. We each have our piece. Two great ways to serve it and it is a crowd pleaser whether it's two or whether it's 20. So stay with me. We're going to come back for a taste in just a few minutes and don't forget it's Wednesday which means you can be one of the winners for a dining gift certificate for $50. So get on our dining page and enter the contest. I'll be back in a few minutes. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. From the moment she walked in the door, we stopped having to go to the pharmacy. Certain prescriptions, um, my health plan or the pharmacy, I wasn't even able to get here. And hospice provided them, and all we had to do was call up, and um, the next thing they know, there, there was another, you know, a delivery. Hello, Mom. Amanda's mom's appointment just got rescheduled for today. Amanda needs right at home. Our customized care plan provides as much or as little help as her mom requires, whether it's a ride to the doctor or help around the house. Oh, of course. Tom, I am really sorry. I've got to go. Look, call right at home. Get the right care right at home. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Are you a soccer mom or dad? Regardless of their age or experience level, when your kids play soccer or any other sport, there's one person on the sideline who is key to help recognize and seek medical care for sports-related concussion. It's you. You need to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, and you need to act if you think your child has been injured. Remember, when in doubt, sit them out. To learn more, go to cdc.gov concussion. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. At Boys and Girls Clubs, it's not just about trying new things. Tanya, come here. Learning the right steps. Two, three, four. Or making contact. It's not just about exploring the future. It's about helping them build it. It's about making a connection. It's about proving every kid and teen who enters our doors has what it takes. Great futures start here. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Okay, welcome back everyone. Well, we have a few developing clouds in the interior portion of our viewing area. You can see the clouds there looking east and southeast and 
With the heating of the day, we have this convection that develops, and pretty soon these clouds are going to grow taller, and we'll have a few thunderstorms. Let's check out our radar right now. Nothing to show you here. It's all quiet at this time, but a few hours from now, a few showers and storms will get going. I don't think they're going to be as widespread as they were yesterday, but uh, we'll still get those storms going, and probably mostly the heavier ones will be inland. Highs are pretty much what's happening right now. These are our current temperatures, upper 80s and low 90s, but it feels about 5 to 8 degrees warmer than that. The feel like temperature in the mid 90s at this time. Also to point out, we have a flood warning still for the Peace River at Arcadia. So uh, with all the rain we've received over the last few days and week or so, uh, you know, the river, uh, our river banks are just kind of overflowing. So just to keep that in mind, but Looks like we could have some more rain in our forecast as we get into the weekend, especially inland. And this is why. We had an area of high pressure to the northeast of us yesterday. That has slipped south. As it continues to slip south, that return flow around it will come in from the southwest or southeast. That's what it's doing today. And then eventually the southwest and then the west. So that means for today, since the wind's coming in from the south and east, the showers and storms will develop inland and then uh, possibly track towards the coast. But with more of a southwest westerly wind, which what we'll experience over the weekend and into early next week, could get a few light showers along the coast in the morning hours. And then with the heating of the day and the sea breeze convergence and the sea breeze will actually be able to track further inland. The convergence will be probably east of 75 and the bigger storms will develop inland and then move eastward. As far as the uh, future cast goes, you can see these showers and storms developing this afternoon inland and then generally pushing westward towards the Gulf of Mexico. Speaking of storms, we're going to talk about this little flare up here in the northern northern Atlantic waters. This is uh, Tropical Storm Debbie. It was just upgraded this morning and it was a subtropical storm yesterday, but right now we have sustained winds of 45 miles per hour. It's moving to the northeast at a good clip, about 12 miles per hour. But again, that's the key here. It's moving to the north and northeast and away from land. For the boaters this afternoon, south wind at 10 knots, seas 1 to 2 feet with a light chop in the bays. Our high today will top out around 91 degrees, which is average. Our average for a high at this time of the year is 90. Just look out for some showers and storms that could develop later this afternoon inland. Transition day and tomorrow and Friday, not much of a rain chance there. Then the weekend with that westerly wind, those storms, the bigger storms will fire up inland and then push eastward. And same situation for the first day of school, which is next Monday. Scott. Okay, thank you, Josh. In consumer news, when it comes to scholarships and paying for college, most parents know the Bright Future scholarships exist. But how can you make sure your child is on track to qualify for one? Here's ABC's Stephanie Webb with more. When it comes to your child heading off to college, there are some big questions. Most important, how to pay for it. Well, here in Florida, one big option is the Bright Future Scholarship Program. Now, to make sure that your student is on track to qualify for one, understand how it works early. Actually, students start acquiring high school credits as early as 7th or 8th grade. Now, there are four scholarship levels. The Florida Academic Scholars Award pays for 100% of tuition at a public university. The Florida Medallion Scholars Award covers 75% of college tuition at a public university. There are also two scholarship levels for vocation education students as well. It can cover all four years of college. You have to maintain a college GPA. They will, um, Bright Futures will automatically look at that GPA so the student does not have to apply again. Now the best advice for parents, know what the requirements are. Each scholarship level requires a certain grade point average, a certain ACT or SAT score, and a set amount of volunteer service hours. You can also head online to mysuncoast.com for a link to the Bright Futures website. Stephanie Webb for ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Stephanie. When those students graduate, they'll have a pretty good job market in front of them. Right now, some workers are reaping those benefits. 63% of employers plan to hire full-time permanent workers in the second half of this year. And there's more good news for job seekers. The recent study finds that employers expect to provide greater financial incentives to new workers and existing staff. And for those job perks, more companies are offering casual dress codes, employee discounts, and extra paid time off. 
With job seekers having the advantage, nearly a quarter of workers say they plan to change jobs before the end of 2019. Now, Whole Foods is testing out a new service that would have groceries delivered to your car curbside. The grocery chain is launching curbside pickup for grocery store orders this week in two cities and plans to expand it nationwide later this year. Amazon Prime members will be able to order their groceries online and then come by and have them taken to their car right outside the store. There's no word yet on how soon that service could come to Whole Foods stores here on the Sun Coast. Still to come in your Sun Coast News, we'll check in one more time with Chef Judy in the kitchen and then why a police officer pulled over a little boy out for a ride in his brand new big wheel. This is an important message for anyone with Medicare. You may be eligible for an all-in-one Medicare plan that combines hospital, medical, and prescription drug coverage together with extra benefits that may include dental, vision, hearing aids, and much more. Some of these plans have a $0 monthly premium regardless of your income. That's right. For one low plan premium, or in some cases a $0 premium, you may be able to get coverage for your hospital visits, doctor appointments, prescription drugs, routine dental care, eyeglasses and contact lenses, hearing aids, and possibly more. Today may be the first time you've heard about this type of Medicare plan. The advisors at the Medicare.com helpline are licensed insurance agents who will explain more when you call. Call now to see if you qualify. Call the number on your screen now. Call now to see if you qualify for these benefits. You worked hard for your Medicare. Now is the time for your Medicare to work hard for you. Not affiliated with or acting on behalf of any government agency or program. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Did you know that a dirty CPAP system could make you sick? If you knew what could be growing in your mask and hose, it would keep you up at night. <gasps> Now, SoClean.com has released the world's first automated hands-free CPAP cleaner and sanitizer. With its patented design, SoClean is fast, effective, and hands-free, killing 99.9% .9 of all CPAP germs and bacteria. Try SoClean now through this special TV offer, risk-free for 30 days. Just call 800-604-0398. The SoClean works, and it's a really effective product, and I couldn't believe how easy it was to use. SoClean works on all popular CPAP machines and masks, destroying CPAP germs and bacteria without the daily hassle of washing your system by hand. Just place your mask in, close the lid, and walk away. Voila! Sanitized and ready to use. Try SoClean risk-free for 30 days. This is a limited time offer. Call now, 800-604-0398, or visit SoClean.com today. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? <laughs> B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend? Nice single boys. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. And here we have it, both displayed. I cut this in half so you can see how when you follow that recipe, it really does come out a nice medium rare. You can always use an instant read thermometer. You don't need the kind that stays in it to get that grasp of a good medium rare. We have all the roasted vegetables, zucchini, cauliflower, and they have that three herb arugula pesto that's just gonna bring it over the edge. If you want this recipe, go on to mysuncoast.com and click on the recipe piece and it'll be right there for you with visit our dining page with all the different restaurant families as well. Scott, I'm going to slice up a couple of pieces for you and I'll be right over. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Judy. Coming up on ABC 7 News at 4 this afternoon, as red tide continues to plague some Suncoast beaches, tourists are canceling trips here. We'll also hear from experts on the health effects red tide is having on some people. Plus, crime fighting cows in Florida help police Find a suspect who ran off during a chase. I hope you join us this afternoon at 4 o'clock. In entertainment news today, The Boy Who Lived returns to theaters. A leading man is on hold again 
and an Oscar winner sings with a little help. Here's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. Mr. Potter, our new celebrity. Here's an event Harry Potter fans won't want to miss, Wizarding World XD Week. Starting August 31st, to mark the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone hitting U.S. bookstores, Cinemark XD Theaters will show all eight Harry Potter movies, plus the spin-off Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Tickets are $5 a show or $25 for a festival pass. Dude, what are you, you you're ruining our, the take. Another Chris Pratt project is up in the air. First Guardians of the Galaxy writer-director James Gunn was fired, putting that franchise in question. Now, according to multiple reports, Cowboy Ninja Viking, based on the graphic novel, has been put on hold indefinitely, a month before Pratt was to begin shooting in London. The action flick was slated to hit theaters next June. Mr. Sokawa, may I present Ms. Roxankos? It is a great pleasure. The pleasure's all mine. Here's your first look at Bel Canto, based on the best-selling novel about a world-famous opera singer who becomes trapped in a hostage situation in South America. Oscar winner Julianne Moore and Oscar nominee Ken Watanabe star, real opera legend Renee Fleming provides the singing, and the movie hits theaters September 14th. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. The CW Network is moving forward on a TV version of the DC Comics character Batwoman. Orange is the new black star Ruby Rose will play the first openly LGBT superhero in a TV series. Batwoman's alter ego, Kate Kane, has been openly gay since 2006 in an effort to or by DC Comics to make its publications more diverse. The show is expected to start sometime late next year. Finally, a Massachusetts toddler busted, but let off with a cuteness warning. Take a look here. Grayson's family captured the moment the one-year-old was pulled over in his new ride, driving without a license. A family friend who's also a local police officer had stopped by to have some fun and pictures from their exchange have quickly gone viral on Twitter, racking up thousands of likes and shares. Grayson's mom says despite the ticket, she's confident that her son will grow up to be a great driver. <laughs> Isn't that I awesome? love that. Yeah. My niece Michelle is a retired police officer and she did things like that all the time. And it's yeah. really special. It Kids is. remember that. They, they sure do. Yeah. First ticket, that's a good one to get right there. Yeah, you don't want to I, yeah, yeah you're 16. right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a cuteness ticket anytime. <laughs> and he's, he's got the uh, me look, yeah, you know, yep. me. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone. A promise was made, a promise that hit the beaches of Normandy, a vow that captured Iwo Jima, a contract that weathered Tet, a pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq, an IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans. DAV fights to keep that promise, so all veterans and their families get the benefits and support they earned. For help, visit DAV.org. Stay connected to your clients and new customers using ABC7 Digital Media Services. Our team of professionals provide a wide array of digital services to help you get the most out of your website. We specialize in building and helping you maintain the most effective digital solutions for your business. It's vital that your online presence stands out, so our experts will equip you with the best resources available. Trust ABC7 Digital Media Services to give you the right tools to grow your business. Watch Good Morning Suncoast on ABC7, weekdays starting at 5.